Senegal's new president, Basiru Diome Faye, has just broken a traditional norm of presidents holding pompous Independence Day celebrations after marking the country's 64th independence anniversary with a five-minute fete at the Senegalese presidential palace today on April 4, 2024, and we are here to explain to you why things happened that way. During Senegal's Independence Day celebrations, or rather throughout the African continent, and even beyond Africa, that is in any country that was colonized, we are used to seeing independence anniversaries being punctuated with highly decorated military parades, an exquisite show of country's military power, as well as a wide range of thrilling performances to entertain guests. However, Basiru Diome Faye cut all that, and went for what we would say, a low-budget anniversary ceremony, that only took five minutes of his precious time, and saved the country millions of CFA francs, that would have been used for a much bigger ceremony, that is if you are a cost-conscious person. The ceremony started with the president, who was dressed in white from neck to toe, inspecting a military guard of honor that had been mounted at the Palace of the Republic, after which he greeted the military generals and state officers present, among them being Prime Minister Usman Sonko. What followed the greetings was witnessing of the raising of the sober and symbolic colors on the palace, with the same being the Senegalese flag and his presidential standard. Once the flags were in the air, the president waited for a moment for the national anthem to be performed by the military band present, before closing the ceremony and walking back to the palace, probably for him to proceed with the tedious and involving task of formulating his cabinet. This brief anniversary was not by accident, but rather by design, because in his address to the nation the previous night, he had announced that he would not preside over a traditional ceremony, but instead would just do what was done here. Given the circumstances, instead of the traditional parade, I will chair tomorrow at the Palace of the Republic a ceremony to raise the sober and symbolic colors. And to a majority of Senegalese people, perhaps the developments didn't come as a surprise, since the ceremony was conducted barely two days after their new leader being handed the keys to the presidential palace as President Macky Sall's successor. This obviously means that he didn't get enough time to prepare for a bigger ceremony, and a lot is on his table at the moment, since he is most likely tirelessly working on forming the administration that will help him deliver to the people of Senegal.